Very good morning to Honorable President here. To myself, Dr. K. Kandaswamy, Head Department of Chemistry. So today we talk about the thermal analysis, analytical methods. So this is very much useful to identify the what are the compositions or what are the materials present in the our unknown compounds. So especially the thermal analysis classified based on the, the mass as well as the temperature or heat flow and other so some other parameters some dimension also. So mass we have a thermogravimetric and using temperature or height we have a two differential method two different method differential thermal analysis. Uh, shortly we call DTA and uh, differential scanning calorimetry DSC and some other dimension parameter by using the thermomechanical analysis dimension diametric diametric uh, mechanical analysis and uh, as well as the thermo optical analysis so thermal methods we have focusing the some properties um, based on the temperature so it may include the reaction product as well as the, the temperature is controlled and the thermal methods we have uh, some three important method thermogrammetric differential thermal analysis differential scanning colorimetrics so thermogrammetric is completely based on the, the temperature and as well as the mass of the our unknown sample. So especially to determine the, the decomposition kinetic of materials like polymers, resins and rubbers. And it provides some uh, special compounds like oxidation, heat resistance, the amount of water uh, we can uh, determine also and uh, the combustion analysis combustion means especially the element analysis so like uh, whether how many calcium percent oxygen percent or element also and which compound will be eliminated from the that particular molecule whether CO2 or O2 or uh, some other uh, main carbon monoxides so these are the eliminated at the time of uh, the particular materials so we have to check that particular material whether uh, it is uh, pure or some imp impurity are present here this also find out through the is thermogrammetric and this is a therm differential thermal analysis so here main important temperature difference between the substance and a reference material is measured as a function of the temperature. So through this um, therm differential thermal analysis we are uh, checking the emission of heat that means exothermic as well as the absorption of heat that is endothermic we can calculate through the the differential thermal analysis so overall so the thermal analytical method to identify and to determine and to check the quality as well as the particular elements and what are the composition we have present in that particular material and especially at the temperature we are given so how long it is stable so that's also we can find out through the this uh, uh, thermogrammetric analysis so thank you very much so we will see later in our classes